Hi, Bill here. So I figured I'd show you how to make yourself a nice utility trailer out of a junkyard side of the road pickup, you know, little kids recycled bike trailer. These are all over the place, at least when I drive around on trash day. And well, they're pretty well useless. They got no suspension. The attachment was a, is a cruddy clamp that bends your bike frame. And uh, they're just, you know, all around kind of garbage. People buy them when they have kids, use them three times and then throw them away. But with a little bit of rework, you can turn one of these into a, just a darn near beautiful little trailer. So what I did is you just go ahead and let me, let me turn it around so you can really see what's going on here. What you start with is this solid axle down here. This is the original axle. And I just took that axle, unbolted it, and bolted myself a piece of aluminum that I bought from the Home Depot. Bolted that to the bottom of the, the chassis there. And uh, I went ahead and took a couple of washers, welded them to the end of a spring. And that way I could what, bolt the spring through to the, uh, to the uh, axles there. And then you might say, well, what is all this rigmarole going on here? Well, when I did it, I realized that there was a lot of bounce to that trailer with just a spring, and there's a reason they put shocks on a car. So what I did is on my trailing arm, which, oh yeah, the trailing arm, there she is. She's just all thread. Just weld a couple of little ears on the top, get some ball, ball socket ends from your hardware store, put on the all thread, and there you got some nice suspension links. And to attach here, I just took a, a tube nut put on there, a couple of other nuts welded under the side, and then run that rod down into those nuts and welded that. And this guy here, and then this tab I made, but this bronze thing here, it's actually an air actuator for like machinery. So I was gonna use a mountain bike spring to do the whole the whole job there, but I figured out mountain bike springs are expensive. I think this spring might have been like six bucks. And on eBay, you can buy these air actuators, used ones for probably 10 bucks a pop. And they give you just enough damping so that when that suspension works, you don't get uh, a bunch of bounce. And then you got a pan hard rod here. That's what you call this guy. It's got ball socket ends because uh, with a live axle and a trailing arm like that and springs, if you don't have a pan hard rod, what you get is a lot of motion side to side. But that pan hard rod, as you, as you stroke the suspension, it keeps the axle nice and straight under the, under the trailer. Now, the front of the trailer was a little different story. She just didn't have the strength here where this uh, tongue goes out, so I had to weld up this little bracket. Just pinches around the tongue, and you can kind of see it goes over, and it goes into this bolt. And the whole story behind that guy is you need to pick up some cross strength from this frame right there. So that's all that's for. I've had a 200 pounder in here with no complaints from the trailer. And then on the front end, it had a really crappy clamping system that just clamped on the frame and bend it all to schmuck. But this guy right here, I, uh, I picked this up and I'll show you the box in a second. I took and put a piece of oak in the end of my, my channel there and put this nylon ball socket through there with a bolt through it. And this goes into a, re a receiver on my bike. Um, I put that in 10 years ago and all my hauling it hasn't been damaged not one, one, uh, not one bit yet. So what we got on the bike side is there's your bike skewer and here's the edge socket that that, uh, that ball goes through. So look at this isn't just as slick as a wet ice day. Uh, you slide that guy right in there and then you got this little pin right here drops right in front of it. And, uh, a little rubber strap underneath. And that's a ball socket. It's got no, no, uh, no friction per, per se. And it's just that little bit of bouncing you get when you pedal, that nylon can take that vibration up and just gives you a real dandy kind of hitch for a bike. And uh, like I said, no need to buy yourself a $500 bike trailer. Just get yourself a free bike trailer, $10 worth of metal, and then uh, you know do a little monkeying around and then buy this made in God's country right there. And uh, Order that guy up, comes with the socket, the skewers, all that good stuff. And then something else that's pretty snazzy from our good folks over in China there on uh, Amazon is you buy that little, see that little kickstand that goes right there on the back? I found that when you got your trailer loaded up on the back axle, having that kickstand right where that pin is, I can put uh, two of those seven pound jugs of water that I used to fill up my camper with in this trailer and that kickstand keeps everything nice and happy. So it's a 
it's a real beautiful setup and then even if you guys know about the the blue boy that i showed you i put under my camper see this slot here in the back of my trailer i actually stick the tongue of the blue boy i stick the tongue through here and then i drop a, a piece of wood down in the hole of the tongue and i actually go to the camp the 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 waist setup with the blue boy behind this trailer behind my bike so I don't have to use my truck to pull the blue boy around I actually use my bike now I gotta admit I do that mostly for kicks to seeing what people grinning at me going through the campground but uh, I also kind of like the trying to use the bike to do stuff and figure out different ways other than just the standard way so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can round up a neighborhood kid here throw the bike uh, the bike trailer uh, loader up there and maybe give you a little demo of the suspension on my uh, simulated proving ground here give me just a minute all right, so I found a kid, loaded him up here, and let's go ahead and do a little demo. We're going to do a little bit of off-roading here. Go ahead and check this one out. There you go.